mastering the phrase, speaking for myself. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase, speaking for myself. Understanding this phrase is crucial for effective communication, as it helps convey personal opinions while acknowledging that others may have different views. Let's break it down together and see how you can use it confidently in your conversations. When someone says, speaking for myself, they are about to express their personal opinion, feeling, or belief about a subject. It's a way of making it clear that the statement that follows is their viewpoint and may not necessarily represent the opinions of others who are present or involved in the conversation. This phrase is especially useful in group discussions or debates, where multiple perspectives are being shared. By using, speaking for myself, you're drawing a line between your individual perspective and the collective opinions of the group. Speaking for myself can be used in a variety of contexts. Group discussions, to clarify that your contribution is your own opinion and not the consensus of the group. Meetings and professional settings, to differentiate your professional opinion from that of your team or company. Casual conversations, to share a personal preference or belief that might differ from those of your friends or family. It's a respectful way to assert your viewpoint without dismissing or undermining the perspectives of others. Let's look at some examples to see how speaking for myself can be incorporated into sentences. 1. Speaking for myself, I prefer working from home rather than the office. 2. Speaking for myself, I believe that we should start the project sooner rather than later. 3. Speaking for myself, I find classical music more relaxing than pop music. In each of these examples, the speaker is clearly marking their opinion as their own, which can encourage others to share their perspectives too, fostering an environment of open dialogue. To get comfortable using, speaking for myself, try the following. Reflect on your opinions. Think about topics you have strong opinions on and practice stating them with, speaking for myself. Engage in group discussions. Use this phrase in group settings to articulate your personal views. Listen for it. Pay attention to conversations around you, in media, or in movies, and note how others use this phrase effectively. Understanding and using the phrase, speaking for myself, can greatly enhance your communication skills in English. It allows you to share your personal views respectfully and encourages a culture of understanding and respect for diverse opinions. We hope this video has been helpful in clarifying how and when to use this phrase. Remember, practicing your English in real-life situations is key to mastering it, so don't hesitate to use speaking for myself in your next conversation. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.